Hi, in the previous session we created a Oracle eBusiness Cloud Manager and also we created a load balancer and also updated the uploaded the PEM key to the two users one is the John Smith user and also the network admin so in this uh, session we are going to configure for the first time uh, so let's see how it goes so I need to be connected as uh, Oracle user so everything is readily available in document I'll just copy and paste it right it'll ask you for the password so we will paste uh, two times it'll ask you for the password now it'll ask you for the user who said tenancy who said right and also the the path of the PEM key right uh, it is asking for the user who said it's asking for the PEM key asking for the tenancy was it so it will now take you for a while it will update all the details to the John Smith user right so now <coughs> now what we need to do is we need to select the e-business uh, CM admin group select that uh, do you have a load balancer yes we are having a load balancer right so this is the load balancer what we created use that load balancer so the port, port or the port is 443 so the port is already been used by another load balancer which we are using so why not I give another new load balancer port right and uh, the cider range is 0 .0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0 0 slash 0 so do you want to continue with all uh, all the particular details yes I want to continue so this will take for a while so in the meantime I will pause the session so the setup has been completed uh, it is not at completely 100 percentage but at least the the first time we have passed it so this is your the this is the new URL and also I just have to tell you that we need to release uh, you know 444 port from the front end if at all by 4443 by default the my document is shows shows that you know 443 is already open but in case if you want to run on some other port you need to release the uh, the 4443 port if required so I have documented everything uh, so this is good this is good this is good this is good the next step is we need to create a group in IDCS at the John Smith right so this is the configuration the IDCS integration with Oracle eBusiness suit cloud manager so these are the steps what we need to follow uh, the first step is uh, we need to create a group we need to create a group not groups but only one group we need to create the group name is uh, you know uh, we will be seeing here right it is been IDCS uh, my e business group right we are going to create a group and add the assign that particular uh, our John Smith user to this particular group then we are going to go to security administrator administrator and we'll add the add the user to this particular application administrator right so then uh, uh, you will get a mail you will get a mail you have to connect to John's uh, John Smith account and you just have to activate your 
no 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 you just have to activate your account activate just activate your account and then what you have to do is you have to log in as that particular user uh, log out and log in as, as john smith user and proceed with the next step to register the oracle e business as confidential application so we'll perform above steps you know we'll perform above steps above steps are little simple steps so nothing to uh, nothing to worry so first we need to connect and create a group So how to create a group? You know, you have just create a group. I'm just showing you. Uh, so the group, what what we want to create is already there. But you know, just I want to show you how how you create a uh, you know how you create a group. So you can just give some d description and add the John Smith user. You know, add the John Smith our John Smith user to this particular account. Uh, so like this, you know, you just have to do this. So next, uh, after adding this particular user to this particular group, right? So this part is completed, and uh, yeah, we need to give a, a, a permission. So for that, uh, what you need to do is again, you need to go to this admin console. You need to go to this uh, admin console and give the permissions. So carefully follow this. Go to security. Uh, then from security administrators, click on administrators. Yeah. So we need to give the uh, application administrator privileges. So how do you do this? You just have to say add user and uh, select the application administrator. Uh, so select the user whom you wanted to give the. Uh, permission so in our case it is John Smith which I already uh, already I have I have given if you want to select any other user you can select and you know add this particular user to that particular uh, application administrator permissions you need to give so then you just have to log out and log in as that particular user and uh, create a confidential application yes you will get a email you activate your account you can uh, you you log into your G gmail account and uh, activate your account and what you do give a password now what you have to do is we need to create an application you know we just have to create an application a confidential application right so let us do this so for that what you need to do as I, as you discuss so we'll just uh, sign out completely sign out right so this is our tenancy so now you log in as your uh, John Smith user not the tenancy user he is an administrator so he can perform lot of lot of activities right so you logged in so from here you have to go to the uh, administration tab there are a couple of ways how you can go you can go to the service user console go to admin console right so now we need to create an application a confidential application so for that you click this application and uh, uh, you know add the application add the application it should be a confidential application launch the workflow right so give a name no, or give a name so you logged out and logged in I'm just following you are a John Smith user you can just verify add an application confidential application so give a name right and uh, just go proceed next so here no need to uh, touch the top one reserve server configuration select this and here you need to select uh, three check boxes one is the client referential JW uh, JWT no 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 client credentials then the refresh token and the authorization code and here whatever is your IP 
you know whatever is your IP you just have to give so you go back and uh, see this is your IP right right this is your IP so you just have to give that IP right you have to give this IP uh, followed by whatever is missing here so you just have to replace this and provide here then uh, here also same thing what we'll do uh, you copy this Yeah, copy your port number whatever is relevant to you and uh, right yeah do this select the introspect select the introspect and also we need to add two roles it is documented in my thing so two roles you need to add it so next next so good 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 yeah, two roles we need to add one is the me and the authentication me and the authentication authentication client I'm just seeing where it is yeah MFA and authentication client so add this that's it you just have to do next right okay so there is some problem with this format uh, let me check 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 right so HTTPS uh, let me just go back and verify because this is the one what I have and what is this is just so why not we do the error is uh, 443 CM uh, CMUI index dot of the second one so this is a problem with here yeah there is uh, is invalid URL format the URL format should be HTTPS something foo to bar okay so why not why not we do replace it so take this and so sometimes if you want to avoid this type of confusion what you do you go back and come to and select your port number and now let's try our luck how it works right just let me compare uh, logout URL you have to leave it and post logout redirect URL is uh, this is correct and redirect URL is this one right and now what you do you say next yes so there was something the problem so now you finish it you activate this you activate this and you get a client ID and a secret ID yes See, this is the client ID so why not we copy this information because we need this information this is the client ID and the secret ID so show secret and you say copy so client secret right you copy this information collect it uh, collect it information as per the documentation right so all the steps are been very clearly mentioned in this documentation right you collect all this information and you activated it and uh, right so next one we need to run the Oracle eBusiness cloud manager to configure the script for the second time so that one we'll do in the uh, in the next session so in this session if you have seen we have installed the uh, first we have insta uh, installed the instance cloud manager and uh, perform a couple of activities huh? so we it also created uh, a load balancer URL so if you had this 443 by default it is 443 my document and everything shows 443 you can go by that right and we have to run the second time so for that we need the client ID the secret ID and you also need the IDCS ID this is nothing but you know this part uh, this is the IDCS uh, ID so how do you get this uh, URL this IDCS ID it's a little tricky a lot of people <laughs> I, I myself have struggled a lot so somehow I found a, a mechanism <laughs> you just click this admin console at the top it shows that and what you do you just have to copy this it stays for some time 
you just have to come after that it comes back to console but you know what you do just show, let me show you again you click this it shows it and you have to just copy that uh, thing that is the pre uh, yeah, uh, yeah so it may be much better way how you uh, maybe in your real-time environment but that is the way how you get it so thanks for watching